Mixed martial arts is a dangerous sport filled with concussions, bruises, and breaks. Oh, oh my God! His oh, bone is gone. But normal life can be just as dangerous and unexpected. This is a list of UFC fighters that have died outside of competition due to sudden illnesses, gunshots, and other causes. These are the UFC fighters who are now dead. Gilbert Aldana. Gilbert Aldana went zero for two in the UFC, but in 2007, Gilbert lost his life during a boating accident. Aldana's shirt had fallen in the water, so he jumped in to retrieve it. A combination of cold water and strong winds quickly overwhelmed the former UFC fighter. Gilbert's friends and family attempted to save him, but once he sank out of sight, nothing could be done. Aldana was reported missing on March 11th of 2007, but his body wasn't recovered for five months due to the cold temperatures and wind conditions. Gilbert went six and two in MMA, winning his first fight by knockout in just three seconds. Corey Hill Corey Hill was a contestant on season five of The Ultimate Fighter. In 2008, Hill suffered one of the most brutal injuries in the UFC when he broke his fibula and tibia during a fight. Hill recovered from the injury, but went on to lose his last five fights in a row. Then earlier this year, Hill became sick and was taken to the hospital. He had gotten pneumonia several weeks earlier and underwent a lung transplant. The operation was unsuccessful, and Hill died due to a heart attack after his lung collapsed. Hill went 1-2 in the UFC and was 36 years old. Shane Del Rosario Shane Del Rosario won his first 11 fights in a row and was supposed to face Daniel Cormier in the Strikeforce Grand Prix until he was struck by a drunk driver in 2011. And it happened so fast, even if we could have, I don't think we could have done anything. Del Rosario suffered a herniated disc and was out of competition for over a year, but he eventually recovered and fought twice in the UFC. Then in 2013, Del Rosario suffered full cardiac arrest following two heart attacks and died after being taken off life support. Del Rosario suffered from long QT syndrome, a heart rhythm disorder that can cause fast, chaotic heartbeats. A toxicology report also found traces of cocaine, opiates, and THC in his system. Justin Eilers Justin Eilers had won 10 of his last 12 MMA fights before he was shot and killed in 2008. It was Christmas Day and Eilers was at a family gathering when he got into a verbal argument with his stepfather, James Malik. Malik went upstairs to retrieve a gun and shot Eilers once in the chest in front of his family, killing him. Malik was later convicted of manslaughter and sentenced to six and a half years in prison. Eilers won his UFC debut in 2004 by knocking out Mike Kyle at UFC 49. Justin Levins Justin Levins came to the UFC in 2006, losing his first fight to Evan Tanner at UFC 59. Levins was later suspended from MMA after testing positive for oxymorphone. Then in 2008, both Levins and his wife were found dead in their home. Authorities concluded that Levins had shot his wife in the heart and proceeded to take his own life. Police ruled it a murder-suicide and various painkillers and prescription drugs were found inside the home. Levins had been suffering from depression and had lost his last five fights in a row. Levins went by the nickname, The Executioner. Evan Tanner Evan Tanner had his first UFC fight back in 1999 and went on to win the middleweight championship at UFC 51 against Dave Terrell. But in 2008, Tanner traveled deep into the desert to get away from civilization and never returned. I want to find the truth of things. You know, that's, that's going to be an ongoing adventure, you know, an ongoing search. His dirt bike had run out of gas and he became stranded. Tanner quickly ran out of water and succumbed to heat exposure. Tanner spoke of the trip in a blog post prior to leaving, stating he wanted to spend a few weeks of solitude in the deep desert, then return to training. Evan Tanner's last fight was in 2008, at the Ultimate Fighter finale, where he lost a split decision to Kendall Grove. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.